Good morning, family. How is everyone today? I pray all is well. Blessing and healing to all of our land, <clears throat> all of our land. Our reading today is entitled for April the 12th, Blood Patch. Abba Father, bless us this morning, Lord. Father, as some of us are kneeling right now and praying or sitting or might even be behind the wheel already, Lord, and on our way. I pray, Lord, for the journey of safe travels today, Lord. I pray, Lord, for blessing and healing all around us, whether it comes for us, Lord, or whether we give it out for someone else. Lord, you know our day, so order our steps. Mind our tongue and our thoughts, O oh God. Bless and heal our land. Remember our children, Lord. And remember, Lord, the various circumstances that you're giving us strength, Lord in the moment or from day to day, to be able to go through safely, trusting you, holding your hand, and knowing that our Father has not left us. In Jesus' name I pray, and I thank you, Lord. Amen. Good morning once more. Blood patch. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once were afar off, have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Ephesians 2, verses 13, verse 13, the New King James Version. I was in excruciating pain. My neck and my head hurt so bad, I thought I had been in a car accident. I tried to endure the pain through the weekend and went to work on Monday morning. By then, I needed to go to the emergency room. The pain was simply too intense. I suspected what might be happening to me. The previous week, I had spent three days in the hospital having tests run. For an entire year, I had been dealing with issues of debilitating pressure in my head and trouble with my eyes tracking properly. A lumbar puncture was done. That was the culprit causing my spinal tap for, or post-dural puncture headache. If you've never had one, you are fortunate. As long as I was lying flat, there was no headache. My medical providers told me the only way to get rid of the headache was, was through a process called blood patch. It's a surgical procedure that uses one's own blood to close the hole in the dura matter of the spinal cord which was caused by the lumbar puncture. After inserting the blood, the resulting blood clot would then patch the, menin the meningeal leak. I felt immediate relief. You know, sin causes, sin also causes tremendous pressure and pain in our lives. Year after year, hallelujah, amen, teach Lord. We try to live with it through denial, substance abuse, anger, or other coping mechanisms that may even bring on depression. But none of these are fixes. We end up in a spiritual emergency room with such pain that we can hardly stand it. It is only when we turn to Jesus, our great physician, that we can be healed. We end up in a spiritual emergency room with such pain that we can hardly stand it. Mm. It's only when we turn to Jesus as our great physician that we can be healed. Instead of our blood, we need the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. His precious blood was shed on the cross at Calvary. He was the ultimate sacrifice that sealed the whole of sin deep down inside of us. And we don't have to worry about blood types. Hallelujah. Jesus is our creator and his blood provides the redemption from all sin and suffering for each of us. Aren't we blessed to have this kind of savior? Amen. Our um, writer today was Karen M. Phillips. Amen. Abba Father, thank you, Lord. Father, I learned something from this reading. Um, I know of people that have had um, spinal taps, Lord, 
And thank you, Lord, that there is a procedure that can be done to bring blessed immediate relief. But Father, the greatest transfusion that we can have, blood transfusion, is the blood from Jesus, Lord, that covers us and fixes us from head to toe. Lord, whether we're having problems with what we're seeing, with what we're smelling, with what we're ingesting or what we're hearing, Father, that blood can fix us. Even when our feet are on a path that they shouldn't be on, that blood can fix it. When our hands are somewhere, are doing things that they don't need to be doing, Lord, your blood can fix it. Father, the thought of your blood, as we truly, truly take it in, can even order our lives, place us on the path, give us joy on the inside, even when we are in very traverse waters. So I thank you, Lord, for your blood. Thank you for the real blood patch. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, amen, and amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. There is no God like our God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, good morning. I so enjoyed this reading. I pray that it was a blessing to you as well. By his grace, I will see you on tomorrow. And I have not forgotten. Send that song. Send that song. But today, oops, I am so sorry. Today, our song can truly be um, the blood of Jesus. So, Find the song, send it, share it. Um, and don't forget to play the playlist. Uh, it's very um, inspirational. It'll make your heart glad. And there's music on there for whatever genre you care to listen to, whether it's gospel, uh, contemporary Christian music. Um, it's there for you. Enjoy, enjoy, be blessed. This is Miss Norma signing off. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Amen. Mwah.